Hello everybody, my name is Aaron Noodle, and today I'm going to be showing you a a fix for Overwatch and maybe other connect or uh, PvP games? Question mark. Um, okay, so basically I've been having this issue, right? Where Overwatch will just say connection lost, my Discord will fuck up for a second, and then we'll be back, right? And then I gotta like log out of Overwatch and log back in and all this other horse shit, and then it's fine for a little bit, and then it does it again like a week later. And it's making me hate the game, right? Yeah, and it only happens on Overwatch, might I add, for me. So, there's that. So, I've kind of figured out how to replicate the issue and possibly even how to fix it permanently. So, I'm going to display the issue now. There you go. Wow, that looks all too familiar. Gives me PTSD, baby. All right. Basically what it is, what the issue is, and what we're going to fix today is that inside of your ethernet, there is a thing called, let me scroll down, called speed and duplex. By default, it is on auto negotiation. What that means is, is that it is automatically going to filter through here and find out what you need to be on, right? So I currently have a package through my ISP, which is 500 megabits per second or bytes whatever you want to call it i can't remember off the top of my head now i've been working on this for far too long um right and it's 500 it's not the full gigabit okay that normally wouldn't cause problems except for overwatch thinks it's trying to send and again i'm not any network representative this is what i'm thinking is happening what i'm getting out of it overwatch thinks that I am trying to send a thousand or whatever, or that it can use the full thousand for some reason. Although Overwatch would never use that much downloading in a game, right? It doesn't make any sense. But I have guaranteed, and I've guaranteed I've noticed that it is doing something with this value. It keeps on changing it. I think it's changing it to a hundred, uh, sorry, a hundred full duplex, and then back to auto negotiation after the game closes and then back to full duplex, and then back to auto negotiation. I feel like it's going back and forth, up and down. Something in Overwatch is sending a mess, like something to my computer saying that it needs to be lowered. The auto, It's auto negotiating that it needs to be lowered. So, either you could come in here and set this to 100 megabits per second full duplex for your entire PC, and that's really terrible by the way, because let me just do that real quick. Just, just for you. And you can already see that I've had a bunch of shit going on up here. I've went through my Wi-Fi router, goddamn everything. It's been giving me AIDS. Yeah, you see it's like 90 now? Yeah, okay, great, whatever. Anyway, watch this. So. Auto-negotiate. Okay, it's auto-negotiating now. Check it out. Oh, like 500. Pretty close too, right? So, it's going to limit your speeds down to 100 if you do it my way. Well, I found a workaround that I'm going to walk you through. It is kind of time consuming, but if you don't want to be like me and do all this horse shenanigans, right? Um, you could just do it the normal way, which is what I just showed you. You can get out of this video, do whatever you want to do. Uh, I personally like my download speed, so I'm going to walk you through how to implement this code on your own PC. Okay? Okay. Let's start here. The process of your name, or your game. You see it says Overwatch application? Click here. It's going to say Overwatch. Uh, again, if this is another application for you, and I think it is cap sensitive, couldn't, could not be, just fucking put the caps in, okay? Um, it says Overwatch here. Therefore, I put Overwatch on the game process name. This tells it to look for the game process Overwatch. Okay, cool. Now, interface GUID. This is mine. Doesn't have to be yours. Adapter name. This is mine. Doesn't have to be yours. So, we're going to walk you through how to get those. Open this up. Uh, scroll, do all that shenanigans. Okay, look. I'm going to put this in the description. Okay. And this is a command that you're going to have to run. Get an adapter, blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyway, it's going to give you the list of your adapters. 
Okay, you got your Wi-Fi, Ethernet, Ethernet. Hello, this looks familiar. So my, I have two Ethernet ports, right? One's in a PCIe slot. I ignore this, I use this for other things. Uh, this, this is a security system to keep me from being DDoSed. Uh, this though, this though, this is my main one that I use when I'm playing Overwatch. Now what you would do, copy this and copy, you know, this or whatever, right? Put that in here and then put the name of it in here bam great right okay everything else in here i'm pretty sure is not local side meaning that it will work for you yes yes great save it all right great now and by the way, here's a way to test it if you just want to test it real quick without doing this next step yet. Just hit paste. It's going to say, oh, setting the network adapter to 100 duplex. Okay, great. Current link speed. Great. Okay. Now let's just say I closed out of Overwatch. Okay. I closed out of Overwatch. Now, come on, set my stuff. It might take a second to reply, by the way. Just, you're going to have to give it a second. There it goes. See, it says MTU is already uh, here. reverting network adapter to auto because 99% of the time auto is fine. Doesn't cause any issues. Just overwatch for me that causes issues. So this is why I'm using it. Now I have some ideas. Um, let me know if you're better at coding than I am. Uh, let me know in the comments. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in just a second. All right. Now, how we get this running, right? How we get this running on your PC in general is task scheduler. Okay, come into task scheduler. And you're going to make a new create basic task. All right, I've already made one, of course, because, you know, duh. Um, just for simplicity, let me walk you through creating a basic task. Name it Overwatch Fix. It doesn't have to be named this. This is what I call it, right? Trigger. I say when I log in, right? Because when computer starts, it kind of bugged out for me at one point. I don't know why. But anyway, when I log on works. Uh, start. And this is also another thing I was thinking about, right? I was thinking about switching this to when a specific event is logged and changing it to when uh, Battle.net is opened. So that it only runs whenever Battle.net's opened. Because that's whenever I'm going to go play Overwatch, right? So let me know if that would work in the com or in the uh, comments down below. Because I might change this later. But this is how I got it set up for now. This is how it's tested for me. This is how I know it works. Okay, start a program. Okay, now. Oh, you mother trucker. Okay, anyway, you would put... I'm about to show you what to put into this, okay? And then... Um, because it's being difficult and I can't get to it over here as well. Okay. So again, at log on. Here, here's what here's what this is. All right. I'm going to put this into the comments or not the comments, sorry. The description down below. I'm going to put this down into the description down below too. Uh by the way, so what this is? So start in. This is saying where I stored my script like the Overwatch Network Fix script, which is uh, this right here. So where I stored this, all right? Uh, which I just put it on my desktop. And mind you, by the way, this is a .ps1. So you can make like a .txt file, put all this in, and then change .txt to .ps1. And it will do this, okay? If you need more context on that, join the Discord. I'll walk you through it personally. I don't mind. Now, this right here, right, again, is starting in my desktop, because that's where it is. Change this to your desktop. Don't use the ire, because this is my desktop. Change it to yours. Okay. Anyway, and like I said, we're going to do this, which is the execution policy bypass file. Uh, and then the file... Oh, by the way, here. We kind of need this. So, wherever... Here, let's put this on like a, I don't know, just this real quick. Okay, here, let's just, 
Okay. This is what it looks like, okay? Because you're going to need to get your own as well. After you make the .ps1 file with the, uh, the entire code, all this in it, okay? You need to right click. You need to right click here. I'm just going to click a random one, okay? Because it's on another monitor. I don't feel like dra Actually, you know what? Here, fuck it. Just for simplicity's sake. Right click it. Say copy as path. Okay, come in here, hover this, paste, and it will be yours. Okay, great. Now that you have that, take this, and by the way, we can delete all these extra lines, sorry, ignore that. Okay. Great. And then look, control A, control V, I just pasted it into the add arguments, and this is finished for me, right? So it's start in this, and by the way, right here, the program slash script is powershell.exe, okay? Make sure to put that in there. Make sure it's on starter program. Okay, now the last thing that you're going to need to do for this area is, well, let me find it properties ah here it is so come in here like right click and go to properties or when you're making it it'll say open properties after i'm done do that that works fine uh it's going to say run with highest privileges make sure that this is checked and make sure that this is checked if it is not it will not work i have tried hit okay bam you're good to go now when you run this on your computer it's going to pop up like this okay Overwatch ain't running. Get set it to this. Okay. Overwatch is going to be running in a few seconds. Okay. Overwatch is running now. It's going to take a second to update though. Ta-da! And it let me in. And now I can go and play comp without these bullshit disconnects that only happen on Overwatch. Because the Overwatch coding team made a uh-oh skidio. It's the only way I could see it happening. The, the Overwatch team made an uh-oh skidio. Because it doesn't happen on any other game for me. It just drives me insane. By the way, I've had this issue for over a year now. So, yeah, I hope that uh, I saved you a lot of heartache. If I haven't, at least we got it fixed now. Uh, thank you very so much for watching, and peace out.